President Muhammad Buhari says there would be no peace in Africa if it does not first exist in families, communities and countries. Buhari, represented by Vice President Yemi Ushibajo, said this at the reunion of Episcopal Conference of West Africa, 4th General Assembly, Nigeria 2022, with the theme, Fratelli Tutti, Path to Build Brotherhood and Sustainable Peace in West Africa. According to him, fraternity and social friendship are the ways to build a better, more just and peaceful world with the commitment of all people and institutions. The encyclica proposes some of the boldest and most radical ideas on securing human unity, peace and security. In the despair and bleakness of the times, these ideas that offer hope and renewal are very much needed. In answer to the challenges that many of our societies face in trying to meld diverse ethnic and religious communities under one flag, the encyclical offers, and I quote, if every human being possesses an inalienable dignity, if all people are my brothers and sisters, and if the world truly belongs to everyone, then it matters little whether my neighbor was born in my country or elsewhere. End of quote. Indeed, as people of faith, we look upon the diversity of our people as a gift of providence, not as a cause of conflict. We are gratified that the church has stood out and continues to stand as a powerful voice for ecumenism all over the world and is committed to doing so in our region. By offering concrete prescriptions on building brotherhood and sustainable peace anywhere, the encyclical Fratelli Tutti rightly takes the position that it is not merely the business of governments and political institutions to find means of securing peace. It must also be anchored on our civil societies, of which our faith communities are an important constituency. So the role of the church in this enterprise is settled. Indeed, the Catholic Church and the bishops' conferences have established a reputation for speaking truth to power in consonance with the highest prophetic tradition. And and by continuing its illustrious practice of inspiring social action by the lay faithful. In his address, the Metropolitan Archbishop of Abuja, Ignatius K. Gama, expressed hope that the conference would have great impact on the region and its people. We are hopeful that the results of our reflections, workshops and discussions will have a great impact on us and our people. We, as the Chief Shepherds, are committed to ensuring exemplary leadership and striving to smell like the sheep. We are pastoring. Without becoming politically partisan, our prophetic voices must continue to ring out on behalf of the vo voiceless, the voiceless multitude suffering. We do not pretend that we have the solutions to the multidimensional political, security, and social problems. The church can only continue to play her role in educating the consciences of Christians, non-Christians, and people of goodwill in our society. In the encyclical Deus Caritas S. number 28, Pope Benedict XVI taught that the church should not take on the political battle to create a more just society replacing the state. Yet, at the same time, she cannot and must not remain on the sidelines in the fight for justice. Also, Most Reverend Lucius Ugoji, President of Catholic Bishops Conference of Nigeria, called for a rapid response to global issues strengthening humanity. Global problems demand global response and action in the spirit of co-responsibility, cooperation, and collaboration. Thus, in the face of myriads of problems bedeviling our countries today, such as poor governance, human rights abuse, poverty, unemployment, anthropocentrism, terrorism, and organized crimes, human trafficking, 
organ trafficking, illegal arms trade, international debt burdens, drug abuse, environmental degradation and climate change, migration and the like. We must, again, we must guide against the culture of the walls or the culture of indifference. These socio-political and socio-cultural problems threaten peace and impede development in our different countries. They demand that we come together in solidarity as a human family to address them in synergy. As the Holy Father observes, fraternity and social friendship are the ways to build a better, more just, and peaceful world with the contribution of all people in the human family. For him, the human family is of paramount importance. In addressing the problems facing the world, human beings, irrespective of color, creed, race, or gender, must perceive themselves as members of a family. Members of a family may differ on many issues, but still remain united by the family bond, which family binds them together. Taking Fratelli Tutti as a, a roadmap for building human fraternity and sustainable peace in a fractured subregion, there is need for peace building and conflict resolution through social dialogue, cross-cultural dialogue, and inter-religious dialogue. 